everybody! Hey Quinn, you know that summer's coming up, and you know what that means. We can do our favorite thing. We can fart in the pool and watch the bubbles come up. Wait, what? I meant we can watch fireflies. Um, uh, that's what I meant. Um, um, let's start the video now. Did you know that there are about 2,000 different species of lightning bugs? And there's so much that scientists still don't even know about them. But we wanted to teach you about a few things that we do know. Fireflies are actually not flies. They're actually beetles. They are also sometimes called lightning bugs or forest stars. And even though they are called fireflies or lightning bugs, only some adult species are able to glow. Fireflies in the western United States do not have the ability to produce light, for example. Like we just mentioned, fireflies are beetles, and up close it's much easier to see that they are beetles. See, fireflies are a family of beetles called Limperidae. This family of beetle is special because most of them have bioluminescence, which is the ability to produce light. And like most winged beetles, a firefly's wings have a hard covering. And this covering will move out of the way so the insect can flap its wings and fly. Fireflies and beetles are insects, and like all insects, they have three different body parts. They have a head, thorax, and abdomen. They also have six legs. And a firefly can be brown or black with yellow or red marks. Depending on the species of firefly, their light can be yellow, green, and even orange. Fireflies live in tropical climates in a lot of the United States, as well as Latin America, the Caribbean islands, and Southeast Asia. They also live east of the Rocky Mountains. But we are going to learn something very strange in a few minutes about fireflies and the Rocky Mountains. So make sure to stay tuned and keep watching. Fireflies like to live in damp areas as well as dry areas. Some different examples of damp areas could be rainforests, streams, marshes, ponds, and even near piles of leaves and grass. Backyards, large fields, and meadows are examples of the dry places they enjoy. But many species live near marshes or near water. This is because their larvae can easily find and eat enough food. Some firefly larvae may even glow. Some of the larvae will even live underground and even underwater. And female fireflies place their eggs inside the ground. This is where the larvae will develop into adult fireflies. The larvae are carnivorous, and underground larvae will feed on worms and slugs and particularly enjoy snails. And they do this by injecting them with a numbing fluid, and then they eat them. Adult fireflies usually live off of nectar and pollen, but some don't eat at all. And fireflies will also use their light to let potential predators know that they are not tasty, which is a good defense system because many predators do not like the taste of fireflies or their larvae. So, how and why do fireflies light up? Well, first, a firefly's glow is actually a chemical reaction. This is what makes them bioluminescent, which means, again, that they can produce their own light. And fireflies are actually, like, really smart chemists. Let's get really scientific here for a second and learn how it all works. Well, first, a chemical reaction within the firefly's light organ, which is found just below their abdomen, does this. 
first fireflies inhale oxygen. The oxygen then mixes with a natural substance called luciferin. And this is found in the cells of these light organs, as well as calcium and adenosine triphosphate. And now we've recently learned from a new discovery that this oxygen has an electron called the superoxide anion. And this is what causes all of this chemical reaction to occur and what makes the fireflies light up. Again, this whole process is called bioluminescence, which means they can produce light by themselves. You see, when a firefly lights up, it produces almost no heat. You see, their light is much different than a light bulb because almost all of the energy source discharged from the firefly is light. This is very important for the firefly because if it works like a light bulb, the poor insect would burn up and go down in flames. When luciferin was first discovered, the only way to get the chemical was to take it from the fireflies themselves. But luckily today, synthetic luciferous is available, but some companies still need to collect fireflies. And this is actually adding to fireflies decline. Some other factors that may be causing fireflies to decline include light pollution, as well as destruction of their habitat. For example, if the place where fireflies live is flattened and covered, the fireflies will not migrate to another location. They will just disappear and never come back. Want to know another reason though why fireflies light up? Well, it's for making more fireflies. Males light up because they are focusing on finding a female firefly to mate with. They do this by flashing their light, which means, hey, hey, look at me, I like you. And fireflies use their bioluminescence to interact and discover potential mates. Again, remember, these male fireflies have only one thing on their mind. We need to make more of us. We need to make more babies. <laughs> That's right, Quinn. In fact, each firefly species has its own unique light pattern. And this is so they can attract mates of the same firefly species. Think of it like this. They work like a flashing fingerprint or ID card. Most of the time, the females will sit and not even move. They will only flash their light back when they see a male with a particularly exciting display. And in some places, at certain times, fireflies will synchronize their flashing. Some species will release something called flash trains. And these flash trains can be made up of up to nine carefully timed pulses. Others will fly in different patterns through the air. Scientists use these patterns to learn how many different firefly species are in an area. And in a few places in the world like eastern Tennessee, as well as Arizona, Pennsylvania, and Southeast Asia, fireflies will actually synchronize their glow. This means they all flash at once. Scientists call this simultaneous bioluminescence. And scientists aren't really sure why they flash this way. Some think it could be the males competing to be the first of their group to flash their lights to find a female to mate with. Here's a crazy fact. Do you remember a little earlier in this video when I said there's something strange about the Rocky Mountains? 
Well, did you know that flashing fireflies pretty much don't live west of the Rocky Mountains? There are a very few rare species that do, but for the most part, flashing fireflies don't live west of the Rockies. Why? Well, nobody's really sure. We also know that flashing fireflies communicate with their flickers, but non-flashing fireflies use pheromones to stay in touch with each other. A pheromone is a scent. Think of it kind of like a cologne or perfume the fireflies use instead of their flashing lights. Did you know that lightning bugs can be poisonous? That's right, Cadence. Not only do fireflies taste nasty for their predators, but they can actually kill. When predators attack a firefly, they will jump into a process called reflex bleeding. They will release small drops of blood. The blood has some bitter tasting chemicals, which are poisonous to vertebrates. This includes lizards and even sometimes birds. Believe it or not, they're not so great for humans either. It's okay to touch a firefly, but don't put them near your mouth. European female fireflies remain flightless all the way into adulthood. They then take on the form of a worm that will glow instead of flashing. Also, female fireflies can be cannibalistic. In general, adult fireflies will not eat, but when they do, they mostly like to eat mites or pollen. However, the female of the species Phochorus like the taste of their own kind. They will imitate a male's flying and flashing pattern. By doing this, the female tricks the male firefly into thinking that she is from his own species, and she is willing to mate and make baby fireflies with him. But as soon as he flies close enough, she will turn around and eat him. Remember earlier we mentioned that fireflies have two pairs of wings? The forewings, called Eliotra are hard and they act like a shield to protect the abdomen of the firefly. And fireflies use the elytra for balance when they fly. When they fly, imagine the wings of an airplane. The soft and leathery hind wings, or the wings underneath the elytra, flap and help control the firefly's movement. One thing for sure, Fireflies are actually pretty cool, right? Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!